Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we're going to be talking about arthroscopy and arthroscopic surgery and diving. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver who had received a double arthroscopy. In other words, presumably that meant both their knees were examined by a probe and camera in which the cartilage in the knee was actually trimmed. Trimmed away so that the knee didn't lock anymore or impinge on the cartilage. And it's now two weeks afterwards and they were instructed that for eight weeks they shouldn't be weight-bearing, in other words, carrying heavy equipment around, and they wanted to know whether it would be appropriate for them to return to diving. Well, what you're asking me, really, is to advise you against the medical advice you have already been given. The doctor has told you that it is unwise for you to bear weight for eight weeks. So if that's the instruction you got, that's the instruction that remains. And even then, it is wise to get others to help you carry heavy equipment and make sure you don't need to pick up heavy equipment from the floor. Rather be in the sitting position and have other individuals load or help you into your BC and cylinder. It really is a long-term investment. If you had arthroscopic surgery, it means that your knees are already damaged, probably through rugby or sport. And what you don't want is a knee replacement at a young age, which would mean you would need at least another one or two knee replacements during the remainder of your life. You want to hold on to your own knees for as long as possible. So eight weeks no diving is a small price to pay for complete healing. I hope that you heed this advice and wait it out and then return safely to diving. And for the rest of you, as always, safe diving.